Hey everybody, this is Fluffy Fidu, and I would like to say that I'm really happy while I'm making this video, but I am not. This is now the third time I am recording this, after the first time it failed to save, and then the second time, while it was saving, the program stopped responding, and although the video was created, when I went back and viewed it, it was all like, ah, uh, sort of. Except not. And you probably couldn't see any of that because of lag. But it was, like, spinning around and glitching and everything a lot like that. And so, yeah. But what we're doing here is touring my server. And so, because I had these problems, I'm going to do it in multiple segments. You won't ever know this, though, except for because I told you. Told you. Told you. Because uh, I'm going to fuse them together seamlessly. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, first thing, this, uh, right now I'm standing on the spawn point, and I'm actually getting some lag here for some reason, which I haven't been, but, uh, this is the spawn point. The server is owned and hosted by me, it is my server, and I guess I forgot to tell you, this is my server, uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys around it, uh, there's nothing too much on it, because it's just been me and two of my friends playing on it so far. But I have a couple more friends who now have purchased Minecraft, and they'll probably be playing on it some. Uh, this is the diamond block of... I don't really know what to call it. But if anyone other than me destroys it, it'll just respawn and not give you the block of diamond. So, it'll piss people off, and that'll be funny. Uh, another thing to add, I am using my texture pack right now, as you saw last time. These are my smooth stone. Uh, doesn't look too great when you're underground, but there is a reason for my having done it like that. And I'll show you that at some point. These are my doors. There are little holes in them because it looks better that way. Uh, as you probably already noticed, that's my sun. It just looks really amazing at sunset, so I'm going to show you guys that as the sun is setting right now. It's it all dark and cool looking. While we're waiting for that, this is the guest house, as the sign right there blatantly says. Now we're going to go back to watching the sunset. So beautiful. Now I'm bored. Uh, and I don't feel like there being monsters spawning, so I'm going to make it day again. Uh, this guest house, there are a bunch of rules and stuff in here. Most of them aren't that important, but some of them are. Uh, when you first join the server, please read them. Some of them actually are important. And if you break the rules, I'll kick you. If you continue, I will blow up anything you have made. Uh, I have kicked one of my friends for breaking rules. I have not blown anything up yet. But I am not afraid to. One of the most important ones that doesn't apply to me, but does to most of you, is do not use TNT. Uh, I have the right to use TNT simply because it is my server. And so now that we're done with that, we are going to explore some. First thing I'm going to show you is my basement. Which, if you go down these stairs right here, it's not really my basement, it's the guest house's basement. But the guest house was originally going to be my house, and then it was all lame and stuff, so I decided it wouldn't be. Uh, so down here is an awesome room with a waterfall and up there there are a bunch of tunnels coming off and you can get to it from up there uh, but it's pretty cool and then there's a bunch of lava down here which is also really cool a bunch of pre-made obsidian right there just from that natural waterfall a bunch of lava there a bunch of lava back here there are also caves branching off back there back there back there pretty much everywhere there are a bunch of caves and it just got dark right there and I'm confused but I don't really care. And there's a zombie somewhere too. But there are a bunch of caves everywhere and it's a pretty cool place. And I'm getting out of here because I don't like that zombie. So, back up the stairs. We are going to look at the next part of my server. Which is going to be the first of my two friends' houses. Uh, his name is Silver. Obviously, that's not his real name, but that's what he goes by. Uh, he 
Next to me, he is the person in command. Other than me, of course. Like I said. Uh, if you have any questions, ask him. He might be able to answer. If not, he knows how to contact me, and will do so if I am not on the server, and he is. But I'm on here a lot more than he is, so I doubt he would be. So that's his house over there, which we are now going to head to. So, uh, yeah, walk on over through this little field. There's a tree there that looks sort of retarded, because it only has leaves on one side. But, yeah, this is another entrance down into the mine. There it says alternate mine entrance. There's another one back there, right inside that cacti. Those cacti, I guess. Uh, right here is a cow, but uh, right behind the cow is a giant smiley face and a pit. And Silver's house, which had snow all around it. And his house is fairly plain. There are nothing too special here. Uh, he has a little greenhouse over here. Got some cacti growing inside of it. And you can get up on his roof right here. And there's yet another smiley face here. Which I did both of these, not him. And so now let's jump out here. And thankfully not hurt ourselves. Next place we're going to is right here which is a giant reed farm. But I do not call it a giant reed farm because of what some of my friends said. Uh, according to them, reeds look like marijuana, so this is marijuana land. Uh, just giant reed farm. If you're ever on the server, you're welcome to take as many of the reeds as you want. Just please replant them. Uh, I would like marijuana lands to actually continue to have marijuana in it. Uh, there's a chest over here if you want to put them up instead of taking them. A little crafting bench here to make books, bookshelves, whatever. So yeah, that's marijuana land. Over here, on this little, I guess it's the mainland really, my house, the houses are both on islands. Uh, over here is a random pit, some ice that I put here because I felt like it and because sliding is fun. Uh, but the real thing over here to show you is a giant crater that I made. It's not really that giant, but it's a big crater. Just felt like making it, so I did. Nothing too special there. Uh, the next thing you're probably wondering about is that giant thing right there. That is simply known as the tower. It is known as the tower because I say so. So we will go over to the tower now. And we can look at it. And we can also look from on top of it. Because there is a way up through the inside. So you just see the sign that says the tower. And you come up right here, climb the ladders all the way up to the top. And it's worth it because there's a good... Uh, not good, great, better than good, it's great view of the world from up here. You can see pretty much everything. Well, pretty much everything important. Uh, there's, I guess, one thing that you can't really see. That's pretty cool. But, uh, right there is the other of my friend's houses. Obviously, you can see the marijuana farm right there, Silver's house right there, Guest house right there. Uh, there's a little observation deck right there that I didn't show you. And then back there is uh, something else I'm going to show you. But I'm actually going to go over there to show you. Uh, before that, though, I'm going to go over here to this house. Because I just fell off. I meant to fall off, but I meant to jump off, really. Now we can take these bridges, which are toggleable and awesome, over here. Because... Uh, I don't know why we're doing this. I could teleport, but I feel like walking. And because this way you guys won't know where all my teleports are. And I'll be more secretive. I guess. Not really sure. But you guys would be walking anyway because I've made it so you guys can't teleport. So it sucks for you. But uh, you can do... You can set a home location. So if you build a house somewhere far off, you'll be able to type something like that, and if you hit enter, it will set a home location to right there, 
And if you want to go back to that point, you can type in that. And then the other teleport you have is spawn, which will simply take you back to the spawn square. Uh, all the specific teleport locations that I have, you will not be able to access. Uh, this is the other house of my friend. This is Philip's house, as it says right there. He has another really basic, simple wooden house. There's a little mine down there, but it's pretty lame. It doesn't even have a chest in here, I just realized. That's a fail. Uh, so what I was saying about you can see all but one thing as it from the um, from the tower. The one thing you can't see is right there. It's not really anything too important or special or anything, but that little tower thing is actually naturally generated. So I thought that was pretty cool and made it so you can get up there. There is a little lift that you can take simply by right clicking the sign. There's a little sign that says that. It says press signs, but you do that by right clicking. Uh, ah, excuse me. It takes you up here to a little. I don't know, I just thought this place was cool, so you can get up here. Uh, we're gonna go back to the spawn point now. And I hate how when the chunks don't generate, it shows you like trees. It's, it's really stupid looking. But now we're gonna show you what's over here, which is the platforming challenge. As I randomly platform over torches. But this is the platforming challenge, which is just a little game. And so the goal of this game is to simply get up there where that treasure chest is. It's on the second floor of that building. And there's a chicken right here. Um, but the rules are you can't place or take away any blocks. And you can only step on squares that either have flowers on them or are made of glass. And I hate this chicken. Die. Yeah, take it. Um, so the idea of you came back. Ha, ha you're dead. So the idea of the game is simply you just start here, jump around. Wow, I failed the first jump. You jump around. I failed the first jump twice in a row. By the way, I have finished this course twice. No one else has finished it at all. In fact, this platform is the farthest anyone else has made. Has made it. Um, this next jump right here, that's a pretty hard jump to make, you're probably not going to make it most of the time. And that's why no one else has made it past there, because, uh, I've spent the most time on the server, since it is mine. And, uh, yeah. So basically, you just make it up this hill to the bottom floor of that building, where if you see that little lever, that opens a door on the side, so you can get back up to there. And that's just sort of like a checkpoint type place. And then from there you go around back up to here. That's the next checkpoint you can get up those stairs. And then finally you go around there to there, where it finishes. So we're gonna go up there. Obviously you saw that warp, but you're not gonna be able to use it anyway, so it doesn't matter. And the only reason I did that was because I don't really want to have to climb up here. And uh, so the reward for this game is pretty good get full diamond armor, plus a bunch of other diamonds, so you'll be able to make plenty of diamond stuff. Once the first person makes it up here and gets their reward, I will then restock the reward, but it will be something else. It will not be as good of a reward. And each time someone takes it, I will prog progressively make it worse. I think the lowest thing I'll make is like a few stacks of stone or something. That's not going to be it for a long time. We're going to start out with some diamond stuff. We're going to go to some diamond and some redstone. Just some things like that. And then once we go back down, you can see this is where that checkpoint is, and then it continues over back there. But, uh, yeah. That's the platforming game. Not too much else there. Just a cool little thing I built. And, uh, so now that I've showed you that, there's not too much else to show you on here, but if you've noticed, I haven't showed you my house yet, and I'm not going to show you how to get to my house, however I'm going to show you my house itself, 
the reason being that it's sort of like you have to get through a bunch of tasks, challenge things to get to my house. So I'm not going to show you how to make it through all of those because that would be, you know, making it too easy for you guys to find my house. So instead I'm going to teleport there, home, not gome. And this is my house. Uh, it is underground, so you can't just look for it or anything. I still have the sign telling you it's my house because I have that as one of the rules. So, I followed it. Uh, I got a little farm down here. Got some reeds, have a cobblestone generator, just because I feel like it. I have a little portal, but obviously it doesn't do anything. Which I actually built it before I knew that it didn't do anything. Got some trees underground, because that's pretty cool. Uh, back here is my bedroom. This is where the WTF painting thing was from the last video. Got a nice little redstone carpet, a bed, uh, an ever-burning fireplace, because that's awesome. And then back here is the last two rooms of my house. Right here's a monster spawning chamber, because who knows when you need to spawn some monsters if I could get through the door. And then over here is a little explosion chamber that I built for the heck of it. No real purpose to it, but sometimes you feel like blowing stuff up, so that's fun. And then the last thing, pretty much, I actually have one more thing after this, but it's the last real thing. Go back here, and all the way down these stairs, they go all the way down to bedrock, so it takes a minute to go down. But if you go down here, there is the tunnel. And the tunnel is the same tunnel that you saw in the last video, the same fail video that had the WTF painting. It goes on forever. Actually, not forever, but farther than you can see. And this is where the chunk failure was or where I ran into it originally. If you go all the way down here, I think that chunk has fixed itself now, but it might not have. There might be other ones that have failed, because that happens a lot. Uh, it just does. Not really anything I can do about that. It does look like one has failed. Right here. It's actually a closer one. Uh, the one that failed before is right up there, with the torch is on the other side of the hallway. Uh, there's some a bunch of caves right there, it's sort of weird. Might have to explore some of those at some point. And we're still sort of under the water here, too. But, uh, yeah, that's all I can show you of this right now. Can't show you down there, because I can't get over there. Uh, so we're gonna go back to the spawn point. So now that we're back here, the absolute last thing I have to show you is right up there. And if you're wondering how you get, that, get there, after we make a day again, uh, you get there by clicking on the sign, takes you up here, and this is the observation deck. Uh, you can see a good portion of the main part of the map here. Can't really see the stuff that's back there, Phillips House, or the little random sand tower that was there. But you can see enough, and so it's pretty cool. And uh, that's everything I have to show you on my server. I'm hoping some of you guys will want to play on it. Uh, if so, message me, leave a comment, something. I'll send the IP address to you, and if I get enough people who want the IP address, I will post it in a video so that all of you can join. I'm hoping to get some good, some cool looking buildings, some stuff that makes this map look, look really awesome. And yeah, that's all I have to say right now. Uh, Leave comments if you want to join the server, if you want to know more about the server, or anything about the game, or anything like that. I'd happily answer your questions. And I'm Fluffy for you. you've been watching my walkthrough of my server, and I have nothing else to say, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!